walking home alone. We're live at JMH. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News Tonight. Natalia, thanks. A high school class project has students and parents shocked and angry tonight. It's all over swastikas hanging on windows at Cypress Bay High School in Weston. CBS 4's Tiffany Helberg went there to find out what's going on. I was shocked and I was, I was hurt. And for the first time, I actually felt like a victim. Laura May still can't believe it. She says Saturday she judged a debate at Cypress Bay High School and found three swastikas glaring down at her from the window of a nearby classroom. There are other ways to teach about the Holocaust. May took these photographs of the two-foot symbols and even pointed out a noose on a poster right next to the swastika. A painful sight, not only to outsiders, but also students at the school. It's racism against uh, Jewish people. Well, I personally take offense to that because I'm Jewish. Broward County School District spokesman Keith Bromery tells us the symbols are part of the English curriculum on the Holocaust. It's for 10th grade students who are studying that era and reading the book, Night by L.A. Wiesel. So you don't believe that there's anything wrong with that? Not at all. It's, um, it's the same kind of thing you would find with the display, say, of the Confederate flag, or even other KKK members when you're talking about that era in American history. I did it when I was a student. Uh, in fact, I even had to draw a swastika when I was uh, in school. I think it's extremely upsetting. I I've never heard such a response. And David Mermelstein says nothing could justify the display. I was one of the last half a million Jews that were shipped to Auschwitz. Mermelstein lost his five brothers, one sister, and two parents to the Holocaust. Since then, he's devoted himself to speaking at area schools so that history never repeats itself. He says putting up a swastika can only mean one thing. The symbol is hate. Now, May hopes the school will take the display down and opt for another lesson, such as having a Holocaust survivor like Wormelstein come in and speak to the students. Live in Weston, Tiffany Helberg, CBS 4 News. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, that story that Tiffany just told us about comes